Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be going over the short squeeze that is still occurring here on the Bitcoin chart. The resistance that we are up against right now, are we looking to push through this to higher levels or will this cause a bit of a pullback? That is what we're going to be going through and answering in today's video as we continue the short squeeze as predicted banging into $55,000. Again, the level exactly as predicted that we had to be aware of. As you can see, we hit into $55,000, seen a bit of uh, selling here. Uh, you know, a bit of selling coming in, a bit of selling coming in. Nothing major in my opinion, but a very nice take profit nevertheless. You know, 55K, pretty happy if you manage to long, you know, levels such as $47,000. I think you're going to be pretty content taking a bit of profit there. Uh, but nevertheless, we'll, we'll continue to monitor this as we go through the video. Um, with that short squeeze. So, you know, this is the thing that I want to really emphasize in this video. I, I'm actually really, 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 really happy. And I hope that you are too. I mean, this is incredible what's happening right now on the Bitcoin chart. So let's, let's, let's just be happy with how this is going. It all started obviously from the swing failure pattern of the low. And this is the thing that I want you to remember. Swing failure patterns you cannot necessarily predict. There's two things you can do for a swing failure pattern. You can be kind of like me and try and, you know, essentially cause the swing failure patterns by longing absolutely the low or essentially uh, the secondary thing you can do which of course we recommend and say it's much safer is just wait for that swing failure pattern to end and then and then buy you know it's a very easy entry once you've got it and now obviously you had it and it was exactly as predicted get the move down swing failure pattern the low short squeeze to the upside that was the prediction well surprise 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 exactly as predicted we swing failure pattern the low move up to exactly where I wanted $55,000. So from the original prediction all the way to the bottom, exactly where I wanted, getting the absolute low of the move and then short squeezing up to $55,000. Well, guess what just happened just a minute ago? We hit into $55,000 exactly as predicted. Okay. <laughs> Pretty much, basically it is. Um, and, now, and now we're going to be monitoring this. Are we going to consolidate below resistance again for another push to the upside? So you have to remember consolidation under resistance is bullish. Yeah. So consolidation under resistance is bullish. And this is arguably what we had yesterday. So we were pretty much doing the exact same thing, um, consolidating under resistance. Okay, we had massive bullish divergences for me for the whole day yesterday. And this is, uh, you know, this is what I was going to say a second ago, that you have, you obviously have a few different options when it comes to trading. You did not want to long into $54,000 yesterday because you would literally be longing into the CC resistance. And that's just like the worst idea ever, especially as a day trader. You just cannot do that. So you got to, at that moment in time, say, the only trade I have is a short or no position. Okay, and I'm referring to, on the lower term time frames here, when you're at the CC here, yeah, you have one of two options to short or to take no trade. Option number three, which is, I guess, a 2.A <laughs> or 2.B, is wait for that retracement to long, to long the retracement. You don't want to long into this resistance, but you want to long the pullbacks. Yeah, that's, that's what you want to do. And one thing that I want to emphasize here is the need of this recording statistics. And so I've wrote, I wrote a little bit about it on Twitter yesterday. And I think I just want to emphasize it in this video because it really is important. And this is why recording statistics gives a major edge in the market. Via my own trading, I found a more reliable Fibonacci ratio to trade from with a higher percentage touch. Once again today, the CC was the upper resistance perfectly for day traders. It really emphasizes how going beyond in trading <laughs> it really emphasizes how going beyond in the trading game can have its rewards. Putting in an extra bit of effort can have a butterfly effect on your trading. Journal your trades and discover new patterns at ratios that are respected while 99% of the world is looking at the same old, same old. Everybody looks at the same things. Nobody wants to be, um, you know, have a bit of initiative and, and go out and find their own strategies, you know liquidation strategy created by myself, CC Fibonacci ratio, ratio that was obviously originally a different person's ratio. I've modified it because I found better, better respected levels. And hey, this is how you, this is how you do it. As you can see here, we came up, I was looking for a move up to test the CC. We come up, we tested the CC and have a guess, the top of that CC, pretty much the absolute dollar uh, was the absolute higher to move. And then just as we were looking to swing failure pattern the lows for that long, we'll have a guess what happens here. We come down, we take the lows, you got another move to the upside. So it's like, oh, come on, come on. You got to appreciate this. You really got to appreciate this. This is just like, 
this just makes me as a trader so 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 happy and this is why i will come here every single day and just talk to you about analysis and talk to you about trading because this for me is just this for me is just bliss like i am at my happiness <laughs> i'm at my happiness like i just I, I hope i pass it on to you in this video it's like i put in so much effort and so much time and just Ah, oh, it's amazing to see the results that we're producing is just, ah, oh, it makes me very, very, very happy. What can I say? And this is just the epitome of it. This is just like, come on, we, we get the CC to the absolute crazy dollar high. We get that pullback. We take the lows. We get another rise to the upside. Have a guess where we rose to. Well, of course, you know where we rose to. It's the exact level I've been talking about. $55,000 uh, come into it to pretty what what's $55,000. We moved above it by 0.10%. And you get a pullback. Of course, this could just be an intraday pullback. Oh, wow, we're seeing quite a lot of um, shorts open. <laughs> we, it could just be an intraday pullback. Uh, but at the end of the day, and nevertheless, 55k, pretty nice take profit. Okay, we're probably going to put in a little bit of a range here. And again, going to look for another potential consolidation under resistance for a push up. This is where we're really going to be looking at our divergence to see what's forming here. Uh, of course, we could absolutely push through here. Uh, it's going to probably require a little bit of time to see what's going on. But you know, don't necessarily have to think, oh, this is over. We're going to crash down from here. Of course, we've got to trade it level to level. Um, but yeah, that, that's the, what I really want to emphasize, how we absolutely nailed the CC resistance there. And the thing is, it's like I um, I want to just show you this post as well. Yeah. So in, in my group uh, yesterday, I was emphasize again, I'm writing a lot of really helpful things. I really, truly believe it's like how easy was the long then? So, of course, we did not want to long into the CC resistance. Why? Because you're longing into resistance. Wait for the pullback. I gave the level to long three times in the group yesterday, as well as in my morning update, the morning update, which I just put in inside of my own section where only I post. I told the exact level where I wanted a long, the exact level. And I mentioned that then on top of that, three separate occasions inside the Champions Bitcoin technical analysis chat to wait for that retrace. Well, this morning, you know, have a guess what happened. Exactly where I wanted along it. We hit that exactly as predicted. It was the exact glow for an amazing bounce. And that is why we stay patient and follow my plans. Because when do I let you down? Hope you're all waking up to having made some great money last night. So obviously I was posting this uh, around 10 30 last night that we had come down hey we're literally hitting the support that i've been telling everybody to wait for all day for the longs we got the little bounce underway this is exactly what we wanted to see we wanted to see it holding this is the time to long and obviously well that was step number one and this is what we're waking up to this morning what can i say the exact support line that we're waiting for have a guess bam hits move up towards fifty-five thousand dollars and we are, let me just see on the one minute chart, still hovering around here as support. Okay, fair enough. You can see here that you've got quite a lot of aggressive people coming in in the market. There's this candle here. I mean, we're going to have to zoom into a little bit lower term time frame. Let me just take a look at this. Um, so, yeah, so you saw about 10 million shorts open there. So fair enough. Well, at least, at least they're shorting into resistance. You know, they're not shorting at random places in the chart. You know, <laughs> like like a lot of people do, they'll just take shorts at random places. At least this guy at least um, has a bit of sense about him, I suppose. Um, anyway, moving on. Yeah, like that's what I really wanted to emphasize. All started with the prediction of literally exactly getting the exact low of the move, getting into fifty-five thousand dollars. Then it's when you're consolidating at the CC, not too long into resistance, wait for the retracement, or if even better, wait for the exact level that I've been telling all day to my group to long. Well, when you come into that level, what do you do? You long it, you're waking up again to even more profits. I mean, currently everything is going, it's obviously a meme, but everything's going exactly as predicted. And this just makes me happy. Yeah, I'm on full on, I'm on full on boast mode today because come on, I'm literally calling this market. I'm literally calling the market. And nobody can say otherwise. That's a hard, cold fact. Hard, cold fact. Um, so yeah, that's what we got going on right now. And then, then this is the thing that you want to be looking at here. Okay, so the thing that I would be really, what oh, you're, you're already forming it. You're already forming bullish divergences. So if, if that's the case, and we manage to consolidate again, bullish divergences, like consolidation of under resistance, that is considered bullish, yeah? So I'll, I'll show you this post that I made about XRP. Um, obviously, I've been trading XRP a bit. I'm sure I mentioned it here. 
Yeah, there you go. So when I was obviously talking about XRP and we were talking about uh, consolidation under resistance, that's why I'm staying in my longs because consolidation under resistance is, is, is bullish, yeah? And XRP obviously broke up. Bitcoin uh, broke up from this consolidation, okay? So when you're taking your shorts, you obviously have to remember it's day trading. When you're getting into your longs, you're trading with more of the higher term timeframes here. But the same the same theory applies to what we're going to be seeing here. We're already forming bullish divergences and we've only been going on a few minutes. But um, really, you'd like to see maybe a bit of drawn out consolidation here. And then one of two things is going to happen. OK, one of two things will happen here. You'll either consolidate, you will consider continue to consolidate sideways in a, in a range below resistance, building up bullish divergences and you'll break through the range. Or alternatively, uh, you know, you kind of get a little bit what happened yesterday almost where you get a bigger pullback to support. OK, and um, it's coming in, a, you know, we've got support around for fifty three thousand six hundred dollars today. So, um, you know, that 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 what I like to call is like a written important support. If you lose that important support, you can look a little bit more bearish. But until the support's broken, it's support. Yeah, uh, not really, not really that difficult, I don't think. <laughs> but um, yeah, that, that 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 that's what we got going on. Obviously. This 55k, I, I'm, I'm calling it 55 to, you know, 55,500, you know, I'm giving it $500 plus above the level. But that's obviously on actually our next level of resistance. If we break that, it really looks like we're going to be coming up towards those highs, possibly up to $60,000. So I think we're at a really important level once again. Um, would I long into 55k? I mean, what do you think? I, I think hopefully if you've been watching our videos long enough now, you know for a fact I'm not longing this. Like, you know for a fact I'm not longing here. <laughs> Like, if, if you haven't been watching our videos, it's pretty obvious by now, I think. No, I'm not the, the guy that longs into resistance, yeah? I'm the guy that longs support and literally causes the whole move to the upside. I don't always long Bitcoin, but when I do, I make sure to bring the market up with me. But the thing that I'm emphasizing here, I'm longing support, longing $47,000. Um, you know, it's not... I'm not the I'm not the person that longs into resistance, just like what would have happened on that CC move. Yeah. So what you have to think about this, and I'm not trying to be mean to people. I'm just literally saying of like how the market works. So what you have to remember is the people that longed into resistance of the CC, I guess they didn't know it was there. They've probably got stopped out on this move down. So the thing that's really funny is they would be longing here and then get stopped out on the move down. Whereas I am recognizing, well, there's no way I'm long in here. And then when they're getting stopped out, I'm taking entering back into long positions. And that's the result into $55,000 where I'm taking profits and they're probably FOMO longing. And it's like, it just, it's just you, isn't it really funny that that's how the market works? Um, you know, I'm not trying to say I'm better than anyone else. But what I am saying is, is um, I'm better than the majority. <laughs> Not to be too big headed, but come on, I'm pretty, I'm pretty on fire right now. Um, and hey, I'll, 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 fl I'll flap my wing, I'll flap my wings like a little peacock. <laughs> um, now, nah, to be serious though, I mean, I, I honestly believe it's really not been that difficult. Um, I mean, come on, we, we've literally, yeah, enough of that. I mean, what can I say? Um, to, to, you know, to give you the value here, I want to emphasize a few final points, okay? Because I, I do feel if I just talk about how good the trades were, hey, some people like it, some people don't. So for people that don't, what I will say is, how important is it to have made a plan? Yeah, how important is it to? Again, this was one from my personal trading, tra uh, tra personal trading journal, and it's not every day that I share those personal journal entries because. Hey, they're my personal trades, but this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted to see that swing failure pattern. And for me, it was worth a tr it was worth a scalp. Yeah, it was a, an original scalp trade. I wasn't necessarily expecting it to go to fifty five thousand dollars, but I recognised that that was the place which was worth a long. Yeah, forty seven thousand dollars. I recognise that it's a potential long, and then when it like kind of you get the swing failure pattern, then it becomes a lot more probable. You have to remember that while I was looking for this or trading for it, we could say it wasn't the most likely trade in the world. But after you form that swing failure pan, it becomes very, very, very likely. No? Um, and so, yeah, it all comes down to having made a plan and making the plan, sticking to the plan, and then not getting involved at random levels of the chart. Yeah. So like I've said before, wait for the highest probability trades. Like, you, you know, I say it's, it sounds very easy, yeah? And, and for me, it's very easy. But the amount of people that I see struggling with it and they're, they're trading at all these random places. It's like I said in the trading update, literally just stay patient and follow my plans. I'm literally giving you the exact highs and low of the market. I mean, 
what, what more do you want? All you need to do is stay patient and wait for the levels that I say. And you're literally making so much money. Um, so like, you know, of course, you just got to get to that level yourself. You've got to be able to make your own plans. But at the end of the day, it's just how important is that level of patience? I think there was a really nice post about this. I, I, I'm liking Twitter. I, I missed it. Um, yeah, it was, it was this guy's post. Like this, this is the people that are going to succeed. The people that make all their plans, write about it. They had all their plans written out before they've entered it. They had their confluences. They've given themselves, you know, this is the type of person that's going to succeed, that has a full-on plan. Whether they win or lose, obviously, if they're learning, you know, it's going to come with time. So like I said here, little by little, month by month, you will see yourself winning more trades. Well done. This is the type of work ethic and mindset of a person who will succeed. And why do most people not succeed? Well, they don't have that work ethic. They're not like myself that's going to be there recording statistics every day. They're not going to be like this guy that's that's writing out every single trade, every take profit, every stop loss before they're taking the trade. Most people are lazy. Most people are inherently lazy and they would prefer to say, ha, you suck at trading. Hey, you don't know what you're on about. Hey, you're doing this. Hey, you're doing that. Hating, 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 rather than just getting their head down, focusing on the trades and making money, you know? Just, just, just really my opinion on, on, uh, not to go off topic. And I want to keep this positive, but I want to bring this, this, bring this back, this, bring this positive. Like this is, this is what I want to celebrate. I want to celebrate people such as Bob, people such as Bob that are making their plans, that are studying the content, that are learning and really are bettering the lives of themselves and their family. That's what we're focusing on. That's what I love. That's what I'm here for. And Hey, if I could share my passion day by day, little by little, bit by bit, hey, I'm going to do it. I absolutely am going to do it because I love what I do and I want to see people loving what I do in trading as well. I mean, look at this, 55K, man. That's why you, that's why you take profit at, at 55K. <laughs> what can I say? Um, so there you go anyway. Uh, that, that, that That's the intraday resistance. 55K plus $500. We got that bit of a region. Again, we're not saying that this is necessarily going to crash from here. But what we are going to say is let's see if we get consolidation. Um, if we start to not consolidate below resistance and get a pullback, well, we can expect a bit of a heavier pullback. Again, that, that 51K now, so it's building itself up, but 51K should be like higher term time frame important support. Obviously, you have to remember you've got high term time frame levels and you've got day trader levels. Day trader levels are for your scalp or day trades and your higher term time frame levels are for your swing trades potentially, yeah? So your your higher term time frame support is working its way up. Your higher term time frame resistance are at the exact same places. They're not changing. But, um, whew, wow. Yeah, 17 minutes. <laughs> Well, I hope I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've talked you through my plans. Uh, literally, literally, this is how I'm trading, and it's not like anything magic. It's just being aware of the levels, trading the levels. Yeah, it's not, not, not nothing magic going on here. Uh, it's just technical analysis. Um, obviously, I need to end by saying two things. Firstly, we got the TPO series starting on tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow the twenty eighth is the start of the TPO series. This is like the most anticipated series we've ever done. And that officially starts tomorrow. So if you're interested in the TPO series, that is tomorrow starting. So yeah, you can sign up chartchampions.com if you want to learn about that. That's obviously an educational series. And uh, let's be honest, this is pretty much paying for itself right now. If you just take any notice of what I'm writing in the group. Uh, yeah, what can I say? uh obviously i've got to end with the legal disclaimer uh no financial advice so of course i'm giving these levels but we're talking about demo accounts paper trading let's be honest so um of course of course of course trade legal disclaimer we're not getting sued we're not giving financial advice everything we're talking about is of course paper trades so um there you go that's the legal disclaimer hope you've enjoyed the video and yeah, I hope that you have an absolutely smashing day. I'm personally absolutely loving this. And hey, I'm going to I'm going to walk with a big smile. I'm going to end with a big smile. And I'm going to say thank you ever so much. I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope you're making money as well. So cheers and have a brilliant day. Thank you.